Hi, I'm Susan Kellner from the Ontario Pesticide Education Program and I'm going to go through Chapter 4, the Safety Data Sheet from the um, Grower Pesticide Safety Course Manual. By the end of this lesson, you should be ready to identify types of information you will find on a safety data sheet and identify sources where you can get a safety data sheet for the pesticides that you use. Now, pesticides are exempt from WMIS, the Workplace Hazardous Materials Information System, because all the information that we need as users is on the pesticide label, the directions for use and the hazards and the precautions and everything. But, uh, although not required, most pesticide companies do write a safety data sheet for each product and they will post them on their websites and have them readily available for you so they're easy to get and uh, refer to. Now, safety data sheets provide additional information about health hazards, environmental protection, and safety procedures. A safety data sheet has 16 sections and each safety data sheet has the same 16 sections and that makes it easy for us to find information on any safety data sheet. Safety data sheet is always up to date and must be updated when there is any significant change in information. Best practice each year, print a new safety data sheet for each pesticide that you use and then you will have the most up to date information handy. Now take a moment, you can go online, search for the safety data sheet of a pesticide that you use, compare it to the label. Highlight and circle any additional information that is useful. Now, what would you find from that? Well, the useful information, in addition to the label found on a safety data sheet, first, the transportation of dangerous goods classification. Now, that's not on the specific product label. So, going to section 14, transportation information of a safety data sheet tells you the transportation dangerous good classification so you know which placards to use when transporting your sprayer with spray mix on public roads. The hazard pictograms give you a quick review of hazards. These are different than the label hazard symbols that PMRA uses. So, under section 2, there will be a hazard identification. Now you can learn the meaning of the hazard symbols of the globally harmonized system of classification and labeling for chemicals by visiting the website of the Canadian Centre for Occupational Health and Safety website and there's other resources online as well. So those symbols will be a little bit different. Serious health effects, less serious health effects and environmental effects. Those are some of the ones that you will see on pesticides. Okay, going on, information for firefighters will be on a safety data sheet. All right, so uh, firefighting measures, section five. Acute oral LD50, acute dermal LD50, acute LC50. So that information is in section 11, toxicological information, and you can actually find out how toxic it is and its likely roots of exposure. A rating for persistence in water and soil and mobility in soil, section 12 ecological information. You'll find all that information there. And a comparison of the globally harmonized system symbols with the PMRA hazard symbols that appear on the front of a label. That comparison will be explained in section 15, the regulatory information. So as a best practice, read both the label and the safety data sheet. Keep them available in case of emergencies.